Hello, my makeup loving friends. How's it going? That's right. It's another week worth of new makeup releases to talk about. And it's the makeup releases that you guys wanted to talk about. So you've been busy tagging me and you will notice that I have a new face with me. It is the fabulous Manuela. She goes by makeup therapy on both YouTube and on Instagram. Do check her out. She does these fabulously like intricate eye looks. There was a recent video there where you were talking about the September rose, was it the Pretty Please palette? And I was like, I forgot that that palette actually existed. And I was like, oh my God, yes. So like she looks at like some indie brands as well that are UK based, European based. I am here for it. And what I particularly enjoy is you're not afraid to talk a little bit about mental health. And uh, <laughs> I love that. I think it's very important for all of us. And uh, in first place, I need to say hello. <laughs> it's very, very nice to be here with you. And um, I love the content, uh, what you're bringing, and you're always pointing to lots of uh, things, not just uh, just uh, beauty of uh, of the beauty products, right? Um, yeah, and I am, for me, it's very important about our health, and that's how we feel. And that we are pretty straight away. We are pretty, just, we're born pretty and worthy. And then the world sometimes really pushing us to, to the edges, which is hard to, you know, stand back. So I, I'm, I'm trying to working with myself. And at the same time, I'm trying to encourage people to do the same. <laughs> just be happy and live present. I love that. As some of you guys know, I am a psychologist. So when I see people engaging in these sort of conversations, I'm like, yes, this is what we need. We need more people like Manuela, just not being afraid to talk about it, bringing out all these issues out into the forefront and taking away any sort of stigma on it. So like, you know the drill, guys. I'll have all of her details down below in the description box. Go and follow her on Instagram and on YouTube. You will be annoyed though, because every so often her pictures turn up on my Instagram and I get like, oh damn it, because <laughs> I look like this and I'm all potato-esque and she's just done like this beautiful, like cut crease, lots of liner details I've been noticing of late and I'm like, Lately, <laughs> I got that beautiful uh, Attitude Cosmetics palette, so I'm tempted to play with it. So, <laughs> yeah. You have to, you have to. So, as you guys know, there would be no episode if you guys didn't tag me. So, I'm going to show all of your names now who have been so, so busy and so diligent in tagging me. I so appreciate it. And a massive thank you to my Patreons. I literally couldn't do things without you. I run way too many things past you uh it's it's a bit unhealthy at this point but there you go and we do have a birthday this week the fabulous incomparable Wilma Fingerdo who was on with me last week it's her birthday and I'm so excited because I'm lazy as always is that really a hugely uh surprising thing to you guys I was like Manuela you're on with me do you want to choose the team and she came up with a fabulous theme, which is pastel goth. In true or and or historical fashion, I haven't done anything, but I have a very good excuse because I was sitting down to film and my umbrella light exploded in my face. <laughs> <laughs> so I spent about 20 minutes just gathering shards of glass and then went, oh, well, and just sat down and ate a Kinder Bueno instead. Um, but of course, <laughs> Manuela looks amazing and we were talking about like the whole thing around the theme and why it's that way and we were saying like pastel for easter and like goth because you know of the whole jesus dying on the cross thing so and i mean look at manuela Spectre. it's a deep it's deep it's a deep team <laughs> it is it is but the first thing i thought of was like the old cat von d pastel goth palette I don't oh. know. All right, I, I completely forgot about it, but I was just thinking that I know that Ireland is Catholic, uh, Catholic uh, country, and um, I born in Poland. I'm Polish Algerian, but I born in Poland, and I am a Catholic uh, from the six years old. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was thinking that that will kind of combine the culture. <laughs> that works very well, to be fair, and it works with mine. The Irish, if we're not potatoes, we're Catholics. It's one or the other. Um, but I'm going to show my fabulous, gorgeous, disgustingly talented Patreon's pictures as well so you can have a look and feel 
inferior to their talent as I do on every single day. But we have a few little things to talk about. Myself and Manuela were actually saying like, feels a little bit more of like a quiet week this week, which kind of makes sense. I think they know that everyone is like very busy putting all of their funds into chocolate eggs rather than, you know, like concealers and eyeshadows. So there you go. But we do still have things to talk about. Last week, I was talking about the Melt Electrip eyeshadow palette because that's all I knew that was coming out at that particular time. But we now know that there's more stuff coming out. And it is, by the way, available right now. And can I just say, it's been available for at least a day as of filming. And I went on to Melt maybe two hours ago. Everything is still available. Yeah, so that's sign something. <laughs> Isn't it though? Do you remember when all of their stuff would just like sell out like that? Yes, that was the time when I was dreaming about them. And yeah, and uh, now it's kind of slowed down. But I think that they also launched this after great things, which was in the other weeks. So it was maybe a little, maybe little late to, to the party. I, yeah. I think so. I think yeah. so. Like they have really strong competition from so many other brands that they didn't have a couple of years ago. And now they're competing mm -hmm. against other brands that are putting forward way more interesting color stories at similar some not sometimes even lower prices so yes. I think they're really struggling in that sense the eyeshadow palette for me I'm like it feels like a mishmash of everything they've done before I won't talk about it th that again 58 dollars though no nah. no I think that this is not that I know that this uh, the Maltese uh, company is capable to bring us amazing colors I'm in love with their bullet lipsticks like the colors are so special but uh, I think that this collection I, I am a little bit into this uh, lip stains which are also but the palette is completely pass it's easy pass for me like yeah. And we have also the maybe the this 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 is a bag. Like, yeah. yeah. Maybe this is this looking nice. Okay, I could I could figure out uh, how to use it. But the glitter, like mm, yeah, no. <laughs> just... Can we talk about that for like five seconds? Because <laughs> that glitter, which by the way, indistinguishable, and they're gonna kill me for this, indistinguishable from a she glam glitter, a color pop glitter. But they're like, oh no, this is transfer proof. But even when I was looking at the video like I could see bits of it transferring I was like you're lying to me and here's here's no. the glitter thirty-nine dollars for a glitter no I saw yeah I saw I saw this press and I was like well someone will be there to will try and yeah no 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 I'm gonna say no I just no I, I totally agree with I, you both. The things that are the most interesting are those lip stains. Yeah, they're if looking they really good. Cool. those, I think that could have been really interesting because you can get all three of them for $58, same price as the palette, mm -hmm. price as the palette or you can get one of them for $22. And I mean, I, I do like their liquid lip formula. Like, I think they do really nice formulas. But out of all of it, it's just the lip stuff that I'm interested in. The rest, I'm like, yeah. overpriced nonsense. Yes, I think that's too. This is like kind of um, that that they just want to show up the the name, but it's like the palette looks completely like the other palettes which was long time ago, and uh, yeah, and the rest is not necessary bougie stuff. <laughs> yeah, Do you know no. what. Tony Homeperm on my Instagram actually left a really good comment, kind of saying like like what is going on over at melt like are they high if they think that this is like worth putting out and i'm like i kind of agree because this feels so like dated and a bit you know for the price if it was like a quarter of the price then maybe it's just this is this is my first 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 time me who is looking at the collection and I don't buy it from them. And I really, I am a fan of this this company and I wish them all the best. And I wish that, I wish to love it, love it but I don't. Same. I mean, I'm the girl who got the Beetlejuice collection. I got the Meld Muerte collection. I got the Mariposa collection. I'm a fucking idiot. So like, if me, the person who is the big, ridiculous collector is kind of going, maybe not that means a lot 
<laughs> I mean, I think so too. But I'm also going to say, it's not just us, Manuela, who's feeling this way. Because when I put it to you guys, this did not do well. Because I remember when Melt Stuff used to score really, really highly. The bag was a 3% love it, which makes sense. I mean, it's a makeup <laughs> bag. They're not known for that sort of thing. The glitter <laughs> gel was 17% love. Lipsticks, like you said, that was the highest one. And the eyeshadow palette did not do well, 16%. But thankfully, we now have a palette cleanser in the shape of Blend Bunny. And Blend Bunny Cosmetics came out with five things this week. And what I appreciate is she didn't like low feed us this. It was pretty quickly succeeded by, I'm coming out with this, I'm coming out with this, I'm coming out with this. I have to say, I think, considering she's a small indie brand, she's managed to keep the prices relatively low. Remember the prices we were talking about there with Melt? Compare that to Blend Bunny. So for example, as part of this collection, there are two different styles of lip oil. One is more like fruity smells and has cherry oils. And then the other one has like a little bit of a minty taste and a minty smell. So I like that she's kind of catered for depending upon what people's needs are. They're $12 each. There is a face brush for your blush, which makes sense. That $12 bush, let's be real. The thing that I am most excited and I think that most of us are excited about are those stunning face palettes. There's two of them. So she's the nice, big, bright, bold for those of us who are like, screw it. I'm happy to look like a little clown. And then there's ones for, that's where I am. And it looks ridiculous on me because I'm very white. But I love that she then has the more muted one as well. It's super well considered. And they're $32 each. Yes, I love this hot 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 blush I love this and this is a fair price for that um, the, the shades are gorgeous and you can blend them together like oh you can make really magic on your cheeks I think it's look good I just think yeah. it's gonna look so beautiful on so many skin tones I just know I, I can I can almost hear MUA's kind of going yes yes get into my kit get into my kit because so much of this is going to work across different skin tones. I already know, uh, Jane, I can I can hear you telepathically being like, I want the purple blushes in that. I know you, Jane. I know you want the purple <laughs> in that. And I, I echo those thoughts. And I do love that they have the more muted one and then they have the really bright, you know, balls to the wall one as well. I just, I think this is so well considered. Like, I, I agree I, with you. Yeah, I really enjoy Blend Bunny. Anything that I have ever gotten from the brand, I really enjoy. I love her brushes. I have the five-piece brush set. I think they are spectacular. And if that face brush is the same sort of quality, yeah. oh, I could be for $12. That isn't bad. You know? I think that this is also super cool that this we we're coming to this uh, summertime and the leaf oils and that we don't need to have mask everywhere that that that's for the price of twelve dollars absolutely it's like add to the basket oh, item totally. I don't feel that it's like necessary uh this is I will die to get it but it's add to the basket and it it will be easy for that price and I love this this um, this this uh, brush. It's looking yeah. really smart. Yeah, I agree. The lip oil, if she'd just come out with the lip oils, I think it would have been a like, oh, really? Okay. And can I say though, like the fact that she's got them for $12, and I've seen some lip oils for like crazy prices, like $30 and stuff. And I was even just last week saying like Selena with Rare Beauty did really well on her lip oils, making them $20. And then yeah. here's Blend Bunny, a little indie brand, just kind of going, $12. Amazing. Yeah. This is amazing. I think that with the Rare Beauty is different that they have different way of distribution. So she's like, she has a straight away the wild kind of uh, um, line of the distribution. And that makes the item more pricey. But yeah, but still, I think she she did well for that, that you can go to, to Sephora or somewhere, just get it. But this one, if you're ordering other beauties and you're just adding, this is perfect for, for, the, for the small brand. This is very, very well made. And they look very yummy. They really <laughs> I do. I have to say. 
And I love, I was over on her Instagram and she was saying that she's been using them for weeks on end herself. And that's the thing, she's really involved in everything that she's doing. She's checking all of these things. You know that she's not just like, oh, I've just picked this out of a warehouse and now I'm going to sell it. She's actually testing these things herself. Like she was mm-hmm. in, her, in her handbag, on her bedside locker. And I'm like, yes, love this. Yeah. Now, to, being super transparent as well, she made a post saying she's not doing bundled discount deals because the prices are already pretty low and if she bundles them all together and there's existing discount codes on the website she'd end up running at a bit of a loss which obviously we don't like but there are going to be bundles together to make it quicker on the day of you kind of Mm -hmm. going okay I want all of the lip oils I want the two face palettes so you could bundle them together and be like great so that you're not having to go in out in out and clicking here and clicking there but there will be discount codes actually in operation that day, which I think is fantastic. Like if you could get 10% off, like. Easily. Yeah, I I really love this blushes. Yeah, all of them. Actually. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> even the muted one kind of, yeah, I love all of them. Like even the muted one, like you said, that's yeah, they amazing. look interesting. Like the fact that it has the purpley undertones. Yeah. Very and it's like cool tone people and neutral warm because I know that the cool tone will be looking really cool tone serious cool tone will be looking crazy with this the bold one let's say like that so this is very smart yeah. how how she chose the colors and combined them it's, it's it's looking really interesting I really that's a that's my wish I want that that's that yeah. I can say like that that's my wish I wish to have them yeah. <laughs> right now. I mean, if I wasn't in the process of finishing up and closing on a house and moving in the next while, I would I would buy this. But I don't want to be faffing around with like dealing with customs and things going to an old Yeah. Place. So I'm like, this is a definite like I will get this. I will not get this immediately. But in monolith or something <laughs> local. <laughs> it's gonna happen. One way or another, Manuela. This is this yeah. will be a part of my life and I'll probably get other things that I haven't like gotten in her collection yet. There's only one or two things I'm missing. Yeah, I didn't I didn't try the blend bunny. I always try to kind of push myself away because of the cost and uh, how I'm managing my life in general. So I was just trying, but I feel like I'm kind of um taking more more of things which i want from from um, from her so i'm definitely i will work on, in some point and i pr- probably that will be my birthday which is in july i will celebrate that with blend bar this time because i feel yeah. like i want more than yeah I, I i want a little nice nice box with nice things inside you know <laughs> so i, I can do almost full base <laughs> I love these highlighters which she has uh, launched the other uh, time. Mm, beautiful, they look stunning. Yes, I love, I love them really. And uh, and like some three palettes which really calling my name. So yeah. Oh, um, I just wish that you lived closer to me because I'd have you straight over and be like, okay, come swatch these things, and you can figure uh, out how you feel about them. I know that you have the 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 one of the best playgrounds ever <laughs> for people like me. <laughs> That's how I like lured Tia and Missa and Daniela, etc., over because they're like, she has things. I'll go and look at the things. <laughs> so I'm ex- I extend yeah. a, an invitation to everyone uh, of just like come over, come play with my makeup. And it sounds a little bit murdery, but I don't mean it in a like I'm gonna murder you way, but just a come play with my makeup. <laughs> Yeah, and then it's like, oh, I have to, I have to have it. I know, I see that guys are like, they, this is the after after taste reaction, <laughs> like they have to get it something. <laughs> but um, I will not my, I already from my from seeing how it's how it goes and how this brand is growing, I'm uh, I'm trying to be not that uh, buying stuff before I know. I I like to give myself time because I I could I don't have space for my what I want. Yeah. Only. So I'm trying to be, you know, a mom as a first and then myself a bit, this crazy lady who likes makeup. But uh, uh, yeah, this is, this is, I think I'm, I'm building my, my birthday gift for, from me to myself. 
I think this is. And it will be blend bunny this time. And I mean, and I, I see the blushes are very nice. So I, I July is soon, so it's not long yeah. to to wait. <laughs> I agree. I fully support you. Actually, my birthday is coming up in May. This might be my gift to myself once I've moved into the house. As if I've ever needed an excuse to buy myself something I didn't need. No, never. <laughs> but I put this to you guys anyways. And I gotta say, this did pretty well overall. The lip oils did pretty well. They were a 35 and a 34% love it. The brush was about a 20 something percent love it. But the face palettes were the big winners. Huge. 56 and 57% love it. Which if you haven't watched this show before, anything above a 30 is an indicator of something doing really fudging yeah. well. And then it feels weird. And I'm talking about blend but and then I'm talking about this this is MAC and this is very strange right this is their connect in colour eyeshadow palettes so there's four six pan palettes and then there's three 12 pan palettes and I swear when I saw these initially I was like have I not seen these before I've definitely seen these before and it seems that you know they used to have their artist book palette yep. thing that they've kind of mm-hmm. taken those existing shades and kind of made the space a little bit smaller and possibly reformulated yeah. and just made it look a little bit fancier but it's a lot yeah. they already have here's the little bit of tea um this when I was looking at it I was like where the hell is this I couldn't find it on mac um Ulta did a naughty thing Ulta as they often do put this up on their website before it should have ever been launched announced etc oh that's why it was leaking okay because I was seeing that like uh some the six pan uh yeah <laughs> yeah okay and then I went that's on fair. Ulta and I saw them there and then a couple of hours later thankfully I gotten all my screenshots but I went on a couple of hours later to look at it and they were gone. They had been pulled again. So obviously Ulta got in trouble with Mac because Mac was like, lads, we don't even have this on our own website yet. What are you doing? So I got a little bit of a giggle out of that. Now, here's my issue with these particular palettes. The six pan palettes, I feel like weirdly, when you look at them in the pan, you're like, okay, they, they look okay. But then when you see the swatches, they are missing so much depth. Like I do I I don't understand how we connect with colors just in first place. I just don't I don't understand. And they don't have depth. It's like one is of them is nice. It's a dark one. It's nice, but I will not call it that we connect with colors. Yeah. <laughs> Like we disconnect kind of, or we're making some, it will be very nice glam for someone who don't care and just need to, uh, rushing to the office and need to pop something and like a nice component. That, that is the, that I see that users will be happy with this, but mm, not, not that to create makeup, which will be having like some sense. Like I don't see, I don't see, no, no, definitely. I'm not a customer for that. That's the thing. And I think especially when you're seeing, they put a lot of effort into the packaging. I look at the outside of the palettes and I'm like, oh my God. This looks amazing. This looks really exciting. That will be something. Right? Yeah. And then you open it. Looking like promise and then it's like... Huh, really? <laughs> well, that's interesting. I mean, there's nothing wrong per se with the colours, right? And they look okay, but it's just... But are they missing depth or are they missing that you can complete this look in... Yeah, they don't have that, that section with the darker, middle and then bright. They don't yeah. have the section. There is... They are too similar, in my opinion. Yes. As I look at the swatches. Exactly. Mm. They're all very mid-toned or very light-toned. And I'm like, I just... And don't get me wrong, I get that it's very difficult to have a very complete palette in just six shades, but it is possible. We have seen brands do this before. So it just feels very strange when we're looking at MAC, who have that history of the makeup artistry, kind of doing something like this. And it just... It just feels very strange to me at this particular point. And like, there's parts of it that I think are okay. Like the pinky tone palette, if they'd had like a really deep purple in there, that could have been very nice. But you know what? I have the Beauty Bay Berries palette. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. And for the mid-tone, a nice shine uh, for this new trust, you can really go to and supply by, uh, if not Beauty Bay, which is... As neutrals, which is a very good palette too. Uh, you can just go uh, to any drugstore and buy Revolution and it will be the same look. A hundred percent. Even those little elf palettes. Oh, yeah. Like, seriously, 
Like it's fine. I just it doesn't match up really. Fraction of size. Yeah, not for thirty four dollars for those six pounds. Oh no, no, thank you. And then the bigger ones are fifty four dollars each. You guys know me. You know I'm looking at the colorful one. And again, this is a case of I'm looking at the outside of the palette, and that looks so interesting. It's very like Pablo Picasso esque sort of yeah. weird abstract colors. And then you look at the swatches, and actually, do you know what I will say? I think actually the colorful palette, that twelve pound, that's the one that I would be the most interested. Only one, yeah. but. They've had something like that for years and I haven't bought it yet. So if I haven't... And when you look... Sorry, but... Uh, um, uh, sorry, I interrupt. But uh, when you're looking at the swatches, it's again that kind of... Something is missing. Like the, the purples which are in the pan here, they're looking very dark. But on the swatches, they are not looking at all like dark ones. So it's like, no, the, 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 the color are not looking true to the pan on the swatches yes. at all. Yeah, and I have so many trust issues now when it comes to swatches versus pans because I'm like which one is true yeah. which one is correct yeah. Colourpop are notorious for that I do not trust Colourpop but there's something about the colourful palette that it reminds me ever so slightly I can't believe I'm bringing up Beauty Bay again but the Beauty Bay Love palette that they just came out with for Valentine's Day there's tones in there that yellow yeah. and blue in there that green. Retro love. and I can see bits of it in there um, not that it's a direct dupe, but if you have that, you probably don't. Yeah. But you can see that there's really... The cool. vibe is there. The vibe is for, for sure that retro vibe. Yeah. Oh, it absolutely yeah. is. So I was looking at that one and I was thinking, that's the one that I like the most. To the point that I have that from other brands. So. Yeah. <laughs> You don't need it. Yes, still a ghost. And then the other two ones, I think they're smart in the sense of they've like a warm toned one and then a cool toned one. Yeah. But this is a good standard. Like for someone who likes, uh, for sure the quality is there. It's a good standard. And but it's uh, for the look. Like if you want to create some look and having some goal with your look, the same you will find with the cheaper brands, and you will have the same result. Exactly. And I mean, I know that back in the day, we'll say ten years ago. We didn't have yeah. the same options that we did with makeup. No. So a makeup artist would literally go to MAC and be like, okay, I need a load of cool tones. I need a load of warm tones. And they'd go to them. But we have other options. But, but I think also that uh, 10 or more, I would say like maybe 15 years ago, okay, I'm old. I remember how I was in love with the petrol uh, eyeshadows. I, I'm still in love with them. Like, I remember that looks which you could achieve with those eyeshadows. And where is this mark where from my, you know, from my, yeah, 15 years ago, like how old I was. <laughs> yeah, when I was 30, uh, some around 30s. Where, where is this mark? Yeah. Does not exist. Uh, That's how I feel. The, well, it was when they sold and they went from being a Canadian brand that was the big change. That's always the same with Urban Decay, etc. When the original ones leave. That's it. Yeah. It's just, a, it's just a name. Yeah. And here's the thing. I don't actually think there's anything wrong with MAC quality. I like quite a few things. Mm -hmm. But what I'm... I like it too. What I'm saying is the main issue at this point is there isn't really any innovation these days. No. And it's not a connection with colors, definitely. Yeah. Connect with color if the color is beige. <laughs> connect with mesh that will be fine connect with stone colors that's yes yeah. yeah i mean fair enough but it does it's very much like it's repackaged it's a re-release and i'm like you you've worked so hard in the packaging and the packaging looks gorgeous yes. and then you open it and you're like oh okay yes. yeah <laughs> Thanks. yeah it's a good, this for sure, great for display because packaging is ding dong. It's very pretty. And it seems a lot of you guys felt the same sort of way. The Cool Tone six pan palette did the best out of the six mm -hmm. pans. The rest, ooh, really trailed behind at 12%, 13%, and 20%. Then when we looked at the big 12 pan palettes, the colorful one did the best. That was 18%. And then the warm neutrals yeah. did the worst at 10%. Do you know what? I was looking at Robert Welsh's instagram because i'm a normal person and i don't stalk other people but i like looking at their stories and he had put in about a question of like do you think mac is on its way like is going to come back is going to make a comeback 
And like a load of people were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and he just, like, oh, I love, I love his sense of humor. It's precious. <laughs> yeah, he's very choppy. Like, you guys are brutal. I was like, it's true though. It's true. It feels like they had their day and it's, it's oh. tough though. I, they really do need like a bit of a, a zhuzhing because their products are sound. It's just like, huh. Yes. That is missing this this element, which, yeah, yeah, this and personal then, element will combine this, and uh, you need to be bold to put something really good on market. You need to be bold. You need to be sure that this is, and this is like a sa- uh, playing in this with a safe ball. Like you don't want to win, but you don't want to lose. No, yeah, and I do, I don't feel that it's these days we have place for that kind of this this already we have too much of the, those kind of things absolutely it's a huge market there's so many people in operation you need to stand out and it's not yeah. enough to be like oh i have good quality products so does everyone else speaking of good quality here's beauty bay in case you don't know i love beauty bay products i hate their customer service i hate their delivery i think all of that is terrible <laughs> their idea I know. i'm lucky i'm lucky in, I'm, I'm in uk so i have just one day delivery and i'm just fine i'm just lucky you know yeah. yeah meanwhile i have to like hop into the irish sea swim on over grab my stuff and swim back <laughs> i'd be faster and i'm horribly unfit lads that would be a faster move than me getting oh. express delivery which apparently to to beauty bay express delivery is two weeks so this is really yeah this is odd <laughs> yeah yeah so they do lots of good things but not the delivery yes. yeah yeah it's, it's, and not the customer service that's no yeah. not a strong side definitely not but where they are at least very strong is their actual products i thought this was really funny because normally they're like oh we're coming out with something what could we possibly be coming out with and this just landed on the app and I was like sorry there was no drum roll what's going on and it was just there so they came out with two three pan face highlighter palettes for 14 euro each there's the glowy peach or the peachy glow and the golden glow they're 14 euro each let's be real really good prices my main quibble here is well I have several quibbles so bear with me um beauty bay for the love of all that is good and holy please learn please learn how to photograph your swatches because I I know your stuff swatches better than that right whatever way you are swatching them that looks really weird secondly grant to give me like a finger swatch etc on the skin to give me an idea but i want to actually see what that particular shade looks like on somebody's face is yes. it in a cast what's the story now i like that they're saying it's a baked highlighter it's not meant to be glittery you're you're ticking my boxes there beauty bag you're ticking my boxes the other quibble that I have to say is, and this kind of bugs me about Beauty Bay, is they'll come out with something like this and it feels like a an unfinished range because we need mm-hmm. to have at least one more face highlighter palette. Yeah. At least. But they did this before with their face palette where they came out with two. And then months later, was like, here's another one. Don't do it as an afterthought. Do it all together. Like they have these little singular highlighters that they released about, what, two and a half years ago, something like that. And then they just left them there. They never added anything else to it. Like, I get it. You want to do all new things, but maybe just make sure that everything is complete. That's my main point. Yeah. I agree with you. And the same it was with this big berry palette they added as a request, but they why they left it on the land they just two big palettes and then one smaller. Oh, that was odd. But I if in my perfect world I I see that I, I wish that it would be two more palettes uh with highlighters which are not glittery and I wish that one would be like funky with some kind of purple, blue, uh you know. I love 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 that idea of having like say a purple highlighter a green highlighter maybe a blue highlighter Do yeah you know, like- even like funky orange like a but funky like orange with something oh my lord uh that would be something which was not yet and it, and we know that they could do something like that because in their palettes uh yeah we can find something like that so they they have formula they just need to be both to make it something like i hope that they will bring two more something for deeper tones and something for people who likes 
like me missing something special. <laughs> oh, I agree. I am. I would be here for that. I think that would be so gorgeous. Like they definitely needed a, a deeper highlighter. That was, a, but I didn't even think of doing like just a palette of like say a blue, a green, and a, you know how like Martine Cosmetics had their little three pan highlighter, something like yes. that. Something like that, but with daily version. I would, I would love to. I will be smearing myself, and I will really forget about this glitter who is not transferring anywhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, <it>. The <laughs> thing is, right? I know that their stuff is great quality. They're terrible at taking pictures of it. They cannot, oh. they cannot take pictures of it. But we would still go and buy it because we all know the quality is there. Nobody's yeah. arguing on the quality. I just need them. They're like me right they have a great idea they partially execute it and then they get distracted by something else and they fuck off um so beauty bit i'm saying this to you as somebody who gets it on so many levels stick to one project at a time okay yeah. put those blinkers on get all those highlighters done in the one go before you start thinking about blushes or before you start thinking about contour or whatever it else it is that you've decided to do, just stick to one thing, please. Because it kind of stresses me out when I see half finished products <laughs> being on your website. And I'm like, oh, my God. Because like I know they have like amazing people working on their team that are really with it and really understand what's going on. So I don't think it's that they're not getting like input from people telling them this needs to be fully complete but I actually just think they're like fuck it we have all the materials put it out now <laughs> and I'm like, yeah they could they, they're missing some some person who's like that that tuck, tuck. yeah till the end yeah there, there is something about it but maybe there's also like shout out they maybe they do this like shout they want shout out from us that oh we wish, wish to have two more and telling them what we want <laughs> Maybe that's also the trick, you know, that that, that can, can be because, you know, very palette up, up here and they said, because we hear you. So maybe this is the, yeah, you know, the best ideas are, are from, from the, from the market. So that, that's for sure. They are sensitive with the, with the market and they are really hitting the point with their products. So. Yeah. I do think it was really quite interesting though. When I put it to you guys, 28% of you loved it. And I think it is just a lot of people don't want to get like a highlighter palette because again, we we're learning over time. One shade will suit me or two shades will suit me, but the third one won't. And early on in our makeup journeys, we all tricked ourselves into saying things like, well, two of them will work as a highlight and I'll use the third one as a shimmer on the eye. No, you won't, Teresa. I mean, no. you, are. <laughs> you won't do that. We all know you won't. And I think we've all gotten better at not lying to ourselves. So frankly, um, reward yourself with a biscuit. Well done. It's gross, but oh my God, this next one makes me want to cry in the best way possible. This is Glaminatrix Cosmetics. It is an Australian indie brand and this is their Into the Night palette. And I just looked this up today on their Instagram and they said that this is coming out April 30th at 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time and it's going to be 85 Australian dollars, which is about 57 US dollars. Yeah. It is not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. No, and to compare to other uh, connecting with color palette for example it's like the price right i wish to connect with australian connection yeah i mean <laughs> when much. you think about it those 12 pan mac palettes three dollars cheaper than this which would you go for it's a choice <laughs> it is not a choice and if you no. chose the wrong one stop watching me this laminatrix <laughs> palette i cannot i think what's frustrating about this is when you're trying to get still pictures it's very very difficult because they have very interesting yeah. reflex and even when they were showing them in low lighting and outside and I'm going to show videos now guys the wonders of editing you can really see how special those shades are and I I have one Glaminatrix palette it's the Nocturnal palette and I, I will say um, I loved the quality love 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 the quality but the thing that I found most interesting was that I think it was two of the shades arrived shattered which you know sad but the thing that really got me was the fact that Glaminatrix's customer service was so good during all of that. Like they were giving people partial refunds. They were sending out replacements. I was like, 
it's all right. You don't need to send me anything. I'll fucking repress this myself. It's grand. But the fact that I could see them doing all of that, that gives me so much confidence in yeah. the bond that I'm like, Amazing. Yes, that, that counts. Especially that you, you know, that's your choice and you, you're taking it overseas. This is not like, oh, I pick it by when I was buying the, I don't know, soap, yeah? I didn't pick that palette, by the way. <laughs> Uh, uh, just that's your decision to to make it and take it from them. So this is great when the brands are taking responsibility for the that what we're getting because they cannot serve us in the store, uh, local store, right? And yeah, I love it. And the 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 beauty of of that palette is like it's really looking very special. Yeah. And absolutely, the team is on point. How they put together these colors, it will suit so many people also. And I see that I have uh, all of shades in my family, the closest one even I would say. And I know that all of us would be dressed with the this palette and will look fabulous in their own way. The best way. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's it's so on with that theme of into the night. There's something about this that reminds me a little bit of like Carnival. Like it yeah. feels really joyful that there's going to be fireworks and there's a parade and it's not like into the night of like walking down the bog road in the back arse of nowhere. This is into the night when there's fun things happening and it's, yeah. it's joyful. Like I love this. Like a lot of those tones are just so stunning. Like there's a bright kind of green in there and then there's like a slightly more... Sorry, I can't help it. We'll always talk about green. Apologies. If I know. Like it's a medical problem. I'm good with this. Yeah. I, I love green. I, I'm good with with this. I'm I'm, I'm fine with this. But uh, I want to just mention that the Australia is going to the winter. So they are in the autumn. And uh, I think that this color sort of capture all of us. Like we're going to the uh, summer nights and they are going to the winter, which is obviously... So, yeah. That's actually such a good point because the Southern Hemisphere is in their autumn right now and I always forget that. Um, I think this is fantastic because there's so many makeup lovers in Australia and they struggle to get new releases. It is a fucking pain. It takes things forever to get down to Mecca. Like we're talking months in the difference so it is so so nice that they have a really really good quality well-run indie brand like laminatrix that they can just be like screw it i'm gonna get this the only thing that kind of i like stops me from like immediately be like oh i'm gonna go and get this is shipping fees are expensive customs and duties etc because i'm in ireland but honestly, this is one of those things that if I had endless funds, I wouldn't even think about it. I'd be like buying one for yeah. myself, buying one for everyone in the audience. I'd be like, that's grand. Let's all have this. Let's enjoy it. I think definitely for me, I think this is the thing that is standing out the most this week for me as being yeah. the best. I think that we can have like a very nice look with this palette, beautiful blushes from Blend Bunny. And uh, this sleep stain from Mel's. I will be happy with this small basket, with these three products. I, I, I will be so happy. <laughs> oh, I'm loving that. Yes. This please. So maybe not the best week, but uh, we can find some gems there. That's yeah. the thing. There's definitely some gems amongst some of the weird things this week. When I put this one to you guys, this d fared really, really well. 49% of you said that you loved it. You can't we understand. <laughs> like it's it's there, it's in black and white. Look, I kind of got a bit of a giggle when I saw this because if anyone is on TikTok, look, we've all been on TikTok where certain people have had the Charlotte Tilbury, you know, thing, which is way too expensive for what it is. And they've been like, oh my God, look at this. The liquid comes out from the cushion. Oh my goodness, it's so pigmented. And you're like, <laughs> okay, um, you're more excited about anything than I've ever been in my entire life. <laughs> I would like some of it that looks fantastic but I think it's really great because 
you know, there have been people online really trying to push Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not saying that they're being paid, but possibly think about those things before you purchase. And I like that there's an alternative now for this. And this is Elf. I love Elf. I think they're one of the best affordable drugstore brands that you can get around the country. I think they're really, really good. The only thing that I'm going to say is a negative is that this is the third week in a row that I'm talking <laughs> about Elf. And the thing that kind of irks me about that is when you're coming out with products, it's like you are literally coming out with 52 new products a, a year. That's way too much. That's way too much. The amount of plastic, the environmental stuff like it I mean I get it I love that it's affordable it's great I, you know there should be stuff there for everyone to enjoy etc but I just that bit of it kind of makes me go could you wait just a little bit yeah I'm, I'm feeling like the sponge applicator is not for me very gimmicky yeah it's uh, yeah I, I've been there when they came out first time and no, not for me but good that someone who is uh, get that excitement and has no want to just try it's, it has alternative that's that's very cool from them that they did and they did lots of things with the, with the, those applicators so the blushes and uh, the highlighter looking very nice but uh, they are doing the they are doing a lot they are doing a lot lately and i'm happy that this is something which is kind of looking useful <laughs> more useful than the the other previous Blind. weeks with question mark in my eyes <laughs> yeah like this is I think very um I think it's in general a pretty good product. I don't love the cushion sort of applicators. I think because I have very sensitive skin, I am prone to breakouts by even just thinking of the word breakout. So I worry about having things like cushion tips on my skin because I'm like, oh well, <laughs> that's just asking for trouble. And I like that at least with the P. Louise ones, you could actually take that off and just squeeze yeah. it out. So I hope that Elf maybe have something like that. If that was the case, fantastic. That could work really well. I feel like yeah. the contour is actually pretty good. It's actual contour and not bronzer. Anyone who knows me knows yeah. I go a little bit insane when somebody is calling something a contour when it's not a contour. That's It's annoying. I do feel this, like... This looks like contour, absolutely. Yeah, I feel like two of the shades are very, very similar and they may, maybe needed to change them out ever so slightly. But that's me being very, very pernickety. I think the shades in general... Mm -hmm. But I think that this is understand here different because as I see like one it will be leaning more to red and one is leaning more to yellow slightly green yeah and I, when I was looking at it I was thinking that this is quite smart because I am I am secret olive skin and for me the with the red undertone it's looking ridiculous on me and I will not know that first time but when I put on my face this red is just appearing so I think that maybe this is the, the, the key to that secret, why they are so similar, because they are. But I, I can see that the undertones, maybe maybe in real life, we could see more. Yeah, I think, and particularly these products are all going to be $9 each. I mean, I can't complain about that. And I will say anything, I don't think there's really anything from Elf that I've tried that I've gone, oh no, that's not great. I actually think they're in general one of the mm -hmm. best. I definitely yeah. think about getting at least one of these to give it a go at some point. Mm -hmm. It's it's good. Yeah, you get this and tell me how we can take it off this applicator because if we can, I will get that too. Yeah, this is the application. It's just not for me for sure, and I'm that makes me a little bit step back. Yeah, that I'm exactly the same because I'm just like. Mm. Because I've just, just got my skin under control now, she said. And then tomorrow I'll probably break out again. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I am very, very nervous about applying things to my skin just in case. And particularly, like, I, I avoid using like sponges and bits and pieces like that because they harbor so much bacteria. And I mm -hmm. just look at that and think, oh, that could be little bit of a problem but if it is removable then fuck it then that's great I'll I'll deal with it but if not it just it brings me back to when I started makeup in the first place back when I was a teenager 
and it was the uh, early noughties. And there were these little, they were like clicker pens and there was like a little spongy thing. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. You know what I'm those. talking about? And you took yes. it and the, the, the cream would come out through the spongy yeah. tip and I'd be like, yeah. I have like gold on my no, eyelids. No. <laughs> like yeah I'm so cool I went through that I went through that yes 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 no 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 mm. the sponge later like no no just... I think that's the thing though we have that thing from early on in our makeup journeys being like oh and we associate that with like teen years and now these young people young people youth are coming at me like oh yeah sponges on things and we're like no <laughs> yeah what are you doing? <laughs> no. it's fine the price point is good I actually feel like they've done pretty well in terms of their inclusivity um the price point yeah I just kind of my mind can't get over it being just nine dollars I think that's pretty good and my goodness when I put this to you guys this did very very well the highlighter performed the worst if we can even call it that 55 percent love it I think all they need to do is add in maybe one more shade of highlight <laughs> and then the blushes and the contours both scored at 61 percent love it amazing and then the very last thing that we're going to talk about is Shop Alter Ego. And they were kind of saying, hey, we're coming out with a palette. I've called the Coastal Palette. And I saw it and I thought, OK, we're going to be looking at like some maybe like sunsetty colours, maybe some blues. And then this came out and I was like, hey, how is this related to Coastal? What on earth? If you haven't figured it out, this is a very direct dupe slash copy of Huda's Rose Quartz Palette. Now, I know I had the lovely Megan actually commented under my YouTube I think it was saying that she said that they are actually very very good quality so if you are looking for a dupe shop alter ego are apparently very good for that let's be real not everyone can afford to buy the big brand themselves and that's fair enough you know everyone deserves to have something a little bit nice in their lives I wish when somebody was duping something that they weren't making such a clear copy oh they even have the bacteria shit. yeah <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't feel that. I don't. I don't say that we need that uh, in our life. That kind of copy, that straightforward copy, and it is packaging looking so promising. And <laughs> See, that's the thing. I think my mind is so focused on the packaging that I'm like, here's where you could have gone with this, but you did this instead. Way better. I, know. I know that you can take some bits of that of that original palette, which they are well inspired, yeah. Mm, but the bits, and then add something extra, and you will be way better than. Yeah, this is disappointment, little bit like for my. When I saw this, I was like, no way, this is, oh, again and uh, again another brand, and again this is again. It's not first dupe of that palette. It's like again. Yeah, I mean, Huda seems to be the brand that has a lot of brands after them for dupes, whether it's <laughs> Revolution, W7, Shop Alter Ego, there's always somebody attempting to dupe them, which again, I th there's a difference between a dupe and a copy. And I think if you're, if you're going to dupe, you shouldn't make it super like hands are all exactly the same. That. it's just weird yeah. again I think it's maybe because I'm a lecturer and I'm like don't copy and paste back my answer to me at least try to put it in your own words <laughs> yes, exactly. and it does feel like sometimes they did just like copy and paste something that they've seen from something else and I'd like to see you know if they do have by the way a good formula which is what I've heard maybe them putting their own spin on this exactly be interesting um I mean, I'm still so stuck on that cover. If they'd gone with those colours, that could have been beautiful. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And it will be one and only for this time because we 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 received some deeper tones and uh, brass was going to that kind of direction. And if that will be something fresh like this packaging is with that some maybe little bold elements but not too much but with the that even light colors and little one or two depth uh yeah that would be so fresh yeah there will be one and only really i would and i think that. that it's like mess up <laughs> yeah some peachy tones some pastel blues like you said like a lemony yellow in there 
like all these things that make you think of like the beach and like you know your little plastic bucket that you're bringing with you like all these lovely little things they could have done that I just no. I don't get it um like I was on their site and they they have a lot of like Natasha Denona dupes etc and again like I said I've heard really good things about their quality I just I love it though when a brand that has done dupes for ages then actually does their own thing I'm like yeah, yeah you do your own thing break out of that because I know sometimes it can just be about them trying to get capital it's not as simple as like just go and do your own thing because they need to like make a safe bet essentially now I don't know how much this is going to be but I suspect it'll probably be about $18 so it is a fraction of oh. the Huda Rose Quartz so if you've been looking at that sort of color story and it's always caught your eye but you couldn't necessarily buy it you have an option right now it's not for me I I have the Rose Quartz I bought it there recently and I plan on doing a video with it and doing a mm -hmm. giveaway on my channel and a giveaway with my Patreons. So that I have things in my head, but again, I'm I'm beauty bay. I think about things and then I just leave it there and then I fuck off and run away. <laughs> um, so now that I have this on video, I have to do it. So Teresa, yes. Teresa, yes. you sit down, you have to film with the hood of rose quartz. You're doing a giveaway with it. And you're doing a giveaway with your Patreons with it. Get yes, please, do, please do video first. I, I ask you, please do video with this. Do do the look with this, uh, with with the Huda. And for this brand, I wish just that look at your packaging. It's so beautiful. Maybe you could do the palette like the packaging. Yeah. How about that? Whoever they have in their design team doing the packaging, they, they need to be saying, Laz, you're so good at your job. Could you? maybe jump in on this as well because they clearly have some good people on their team they do because it's looking stunning I'd love and it. i can see this this color story with this oh, summer in europe <laughs> it would be so pretty like i can just think of like you know grecian islands and just really nice pastel -y shades and i'm not one for sun but i like this sort of a thing i think it looks very nice but when i put this one to you guys it did not fare well this was a six percent love it so i think that's i think that's quite interesting i think people are moving away from wanting straight on copies you know yeah. and i think that with this one that with this one really the bucket was already full we were already had this yeah so it's not something that you really miss. I understand that that's six percent. I understand and But my gorgeous friends, that is the end of this video. But I do have my favorite comment. And I had some lovely comments last week because I know I got very like weepy in last week's video. I apologize. Every so often uh, my hormones take over. There you go. But this is from the fabulous Wilma Fingerdo because last week's episode was huge. And I was very lucky to have Rooks on with me talking about the process behind making the man eater and Wilma said such a treat to see Rooks and to hear what she had to say about the process involved in developing the man eater palette and I totally agree there's and I've said this so many times before it, like even in product reviews that I'm like I wish they'd done this I wish they'd done that and now I like know that they probably know that too like the brand is probably sitting there kind of going yeah we do wish that was more pigmented but we were going to go bankrupt if we did it so like that gave me such a huge insight to it. And that was for the makeup geek in me. I thought that was really, really interesting. And I was very, very, very fortunate to have Rooks on. So thank you very much for joining me, Rooks. I do appreciate it. But my friends, that is properly it. We are we are done now. As I said at the beginning of the video, and let's have a nice little circle. Do follow the fabulous Manuela on both her YouTube and her Instagram, I have very, very conveniently left links down in the description box, okay? So go and follow her. She's absolutely spectacular. She's like me in the sense of she's not afraid of colour, right? If you like... No, the and I have man eater too. I just got the... Um, I, I just got it today, so that will be soon on my channel, on my face. <laughs> if you want to see on my 43 years old face, then <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, I love how you were like, on oh, my 43, 42, 43, 44. <laughs> I felt like it was a, a, at an auction, you know, and they're like, 43, 44, 45, 46, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, what's going on here? 
But <laughs> do check out Manuela. She's fantastic. Like I said, very open, very transparent about everything. And I think that's more of what we need in a general beauty space and just in life in general, just having people be really upfront and honest and not being afraid to say things how they actually are. It's healthy for a lot of us. So check her out for the love of God. And you know the general drill, like, comment and subscribe to myself if you haven't. By the way, if you've watched the whole video and not subscribed to me by now, that is rude. I am writing to your mammy and I'm going to give <sighs> right. And if they're an Irish mammy, they'll have something to say. And uh, do please share, because sharing is caring, except, of course, for STDs. In which case, wrap it up. Don't be gross. But that's it. That's the end of the video. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.